Hello everyone and welcome back to Iron Horse Farm where today we're going to be doing a bit more work. We're going to be heading back to the same field which we were in in episode 2 because what I want to do is plant some different seed, not any of the common crops. You can see we've got both the tractors here running and we've got the drill and we've got the cultivator and these are obviously very small pieces of equipment and I do want to get bigger pieces of equipment in the future but like I say we're doing this challenge where I've got to um, not use too much money I'm not allowed to use bank loans but I am allowed to hire workers and that kind of thing and I also can rent vehicles so um, yeah we're starting pretty much from the beginning here but I know some of you think it's fairly plain that I'm using this equipment uh, I am planning on using some mods but not big tractors or anything no big combines no big tractors um, for the time being although I will be getting big combines later on because obviously these fields are huge um, but yeah I don't really want to go for any big tractors so we will be getting some mods very soon but not straight away so I'm just sort of uh, doing the foundations here of this let's play so uh, yeah we've got the New Holland and the Steyr obviously the cultivator has to go first and then the drill um, I'm just going to check and see what crops we actually can plant with this just have to switch to the drill uh, so we've got wheat, barley, canola, grass, corn or maize um, is that sugar beet? Uh, yeah, looks like sunflowers, uh, to be honest I've not looked yet so I'm not quite sure what these are, I think that's sunflowers uh, oats is it? something something else <laughs> clover um, wheat again so obviously there are a number of different crops I did read them out to begin with I think it actually told you here yeah here we go um, alpha alpha apparently is how it's pronounced so one of those must have been that um, but I'm not sure what the other one was but anyway let's get straight into it I don't want to be hanging around here too long so we'll head up to the field and crack on Now I'm going to let the cultivator go up to the field first and begin work. Meanwhile I'll go and fill this with seed. I also need to decide what I'm actually going to drill. I've got the front way, we only have one front way, so I've got it on the stayer because the drill is actually heavier than the cultivator. Ideally I do need another one so I may well get one. I'm just trying to preserve my money at the moment. Got to spend it very carefully. Right, so I'm just going to pull over here and I will just stop the follow me mod. This tractor wants to go to this farm, so we'll do that in a minute. But the other tractor wants to go straight up to the field and begin work. Now obviously we've got our first expense coming up, which is going to be the seed. It shouldn't be too much, but it does cost quite a bit. It's not a small field either, so it will take quite a bit of seed. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem because we do have £14,000 or so and it won't cost that much. Now it's going to take quite a long time to cultivate so I might not actually bring the drill to the field yet. Um, we may well go and start another field of harvest but can't quite decide. Have to see. I'm gonna have to do the headlands first though. I wouldn't normally, it's just because I'm gonna use a worker, otherwise it can get quite confused. I could try it without doing the headlands, but there is a risk it's gonna crash. Let's see what it does. 
Yep. Yeah. Just what I thought. I'm going to have to go around the outside first. Now, can anyone recommend any good John Deere tractor mods? I don't want any big tractors. Just some sort of mid-horsepower kind of thing. About 200 to 250 horsepower. Um, and they, that would, I think that would fit in really well with this map. So if anyone does know any good ones, please do leave a link. It may mark it as spam um, on its own, but I will still read the message, so don't worry if it does. I still have to trawl through my spam folder, even though a lot of it really is spam. Normally when you post a link in the comments, it will mark it as spam, because you get these scammers posting links to all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I'm still doing the headlands. I'm just going to go up to the top here, go up and down a few times, and then we should be able to let it get on its way. I'm hoping. Although, this end doesn't seem too bad because there aren't many trees or walls. So I won't have to do as much work up here. I might be able to get away with just going up and down once. I think this is a very fitting tractor for this cultivator. It's not very wide. But it seems to be able to pull it quite well. Well, it seems to be getting on okay now, so I should be able to leave it. Fingers crossed it won't get stuck. This isn't running off course play or anything like that. It's just the standard hybrid worker. And it does seem to work quite well. We'll just make sure it turns around at the end okay. And then I think I'm going to get back into the other tractor, probably get the combine out again, and we'll move on to our next field. I think that's okay. Yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, so let's go and get the next machine. Well, I parked it here at the end of yesterday's video. Probably didn't really need to because I'm getting it out again now. But we need to choose a field to do the harvesting. And we have these fields just here. Field 53, which is a very big field, 39, 47, and 41. They are all our fields which are ready to be harvested. Um, it's just whether or not our combine is up to it. Um, I mean, 39 is the obvious choice, but to get it all done in one episode, I don't think it's possible, so we'll probably finish it off next week. Or field 47, which is a very interesting shape actually. Um, now clearly 56 and 53 are in the same sort of complex and you have to go right down to the southern part of the map to get up to the other side. Uh, so 39 technically is the second closest, 47 is then the next one and 41. So I don't know, uh, 53 is obviously the closest but it's a big field. I'd rather do it with a bigger combine. So I think we'll probably head over to 39. It's going to be quite a long journey to get there. Well, this is field 39 on the left. We'll make our way into there. And we'll begin harvesting this field as well. Now because we're further this way in the map, it means we'll be able to go to a better sell point. And I think this is barley. 
the wheat price is up at the moment. We'll get this thing going. And this field I will put onto the straw swath. So probably hire a baler. And once I get fuller, once the tank gets fuller, uh, I'll be able to go and get the traction trailer. I'll probably drop the drill off though at the farm. Certainly leaves a good straw swath. Well, the combine's 60% full, once I've got around the headland once, I'll then put it onto a worker. We'll go and get the tractor, and by that time, it should be full. It does take a very long time to fill up, I'm surprised, considering it's barley. I don't think it's been fertilised. Right, so we're back in the stayer. This He's only going to temporarily be here, so I do need to take it up to the other yard, nearer to where the cultivator is, to go and fill it up with seed. So I'll just temporarily put it here. Even with the front weight on it, it still likes to do a wheelie, this tractor. And we're we'll going to get the trailer. So here we are with the tractor and trailer. The combine is now full, it's literally just the second stop, so luckily not much downtime there. Also not much money wasted on hiring a worker. It's definitely not ideal. And while that's doing that, I think we're going to check up on the New Holland. Which is actually cracking on very well indeed. Look at that, halfway through already. You can actually do some very good speed with that cultivator despite it being quite small, you can get the job done relatively quickly. So things are looking good. I might even be able to get this same tractor with the uh, drill, so we won't even have to use the stayer. Still unloading, look at that. Still going. Right, so I've just divided the field in two. This not only makes it easier, but it also gives me a finishing point for this episode. Uh, so I'll do all of this bit of field here, get it all finished, and then we'll do that side in the next episode. The New Holland is still going strong, so that should be done relatively soon. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of this episode. So it means we can go and put the crop in, the next crop in. I'll leave it to you to decide what you think we should put in. Whether well, it should be oats, rye, clover. Although I don't think we probably should put clover in. Um, yeah, I think something like oats would be good. But let me know.
I would just put that on a worker again. If it stayed on track. Because I need to bring the stayer. It's definitely a very wide swath of straw. It's going to make it quite tricky when bailing. So back into the combine, don't want to use too many workers because it's costing a lot. It does help out a great deal though. I'm hoping it's going to be able to make it round to here so I can empty it going down that way. It should do because it's only on 85, 85%. So I'll keep it out of its way because I know what the sensitivity is like. It can be very sensitive. And I think if I park about there, we should be able to unload it. It is actually taking in all of that, just the right width, although it is going to miss a bit in a few minutes, I think, at the other end there. We're going to be able to fill the trader at least to 100%, which I've now gone empty. And I need to go and find out where the best price is. Well, the station in at 348 is the best one. So I'll just look at that on the map. Um, yep, that's not too far actually. Certainly not the furthest. So we'll head there now. We'll go and sell this. And we'll call it a day. That means crossing the rickety old bridge. I'm sure it's not too rickety, but I don't think I want to take this tractor and trailer over it in real life.
So we're heading to the station. I think it's a left turn from here. I'll take a left turn anyway. Bit of a blind bend. And then a right turn. And a right turn again. Keep going along this road and you get to the station inn. I'll soon get used to it, I'm sure. Which is tricky to begin with. So this is our place here on the right. I'm not quite sure where the tipping point is. Just have to slow down a bit. Um, hmm. Somewhere around here. Is it just there? What's this then? Must be here. It's selling. And we're getting a fairly decent price, not an amazing price. But it's still good. £7,308. So we'll continue with the field tomorrow. I'll just pull up here. And I'll just jump to the combine. Yep, the combine is finished. It's even turned its engine off, put its handbrake on, the work has gone home. So that is it for today. We'll finish off the other side of the field there next time, but that's all next week. We're returning to Chellington on Tuesday, so that's something to look forward to. I know it's a very popular map, and I absolutely love it. So, I'll see you then, and we've got ETS tomorrow as well. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.